with another edition, another episode. I'm Mr. A. This is the WRT Boxing Show. Already ready to talk boxing. Oh, it's still that quarantine life, but we're still talking about boxing because that's what it is. The Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Good ass fight for no title. Maurice Hooker, Regis Progress. Now, looking at the ratings here, I believe due to the last fight of Hooker being at 144, he's not in any of the rankings. Now, Progress is, he's number nine in the IBF. Nothing in the IBO. I mean, the IBO, WBO. But uh, his lowest ranking is number nine for the IBF. Number four for the WBA. And what is this that just popped up? Wilder Fury 3 pushed back. Just popped up right there. You, you guys heard it. And he's number two by the WBC. Now, this is a damn good fight. <clears throat> damn good fight. Best versus the best. You know, top 10, 2X champions trying to build back off their first career loss. Damn good fight, actually. Now, on paper, it just seems how can Maurice Hooker lose this fight, right? Orthodox Southpaw, Regis being the Southpaw, 30 31, Regis being the Elder. Now, 5'8", 67-inch reach to a 5'11", to an 80-inch reach? 67 to a motherfucking 80? They talking 13 inches, folks? 13 inches? Just to get an ideal. Just to get an ideal, folks. Jose Ramirez had a 72 and a half. So he had like a, a good seven inches on, on him, but Jose was still. We saw what Jose was able to do, knock his ass out. So is that reach gonna be that important? It's Eighty to sixty-seven and a fucking half. Twenty-four and one with twenty knockouts for Regis. Twenty-seven, one, three, and eighteen. That's a fucking hard ass number to get across. 80 to 67. Now, even though that's like on paper, you're like, dude, two ex champions. How can one champion lose this fucking fight with a 13 inch reach, three inch height, move around the ring? How can you do it? It's possible, right? It's very possible. Now, to me, one of the biggest ass. Aspects to this fight is going to be the new trainer, Bomack. How is he going to have Hooker fighting? Is he going to have Hooker doing what Hooker does? You know, being in the inside, fighting, moving. Because me personally, we saw what Jose Ramirez was do. He was able to bob, bob, mob, move, and jab his way in. Then once he get inside, kind of just rough him up. Hooker threw some great ass counters in there. And what really, to me, what really caused the whole thing was, a, I believe it was a round two or round three. Ramirez hit Hooker with a body shot towards the end. And Hooker fought like the last minute off the ropes of that round. The commentators didn't see it. They're like, oh, Hooker can't belong here. This is not where he belongs. Why is he fighting off the ropes? Motherfucker was hurt. He backed himself up against the ropes. And... If Ramirez can do that to Hooker's body, I have no doubt Regis can do that to Hooker's body. But can Regis get in against a 13-inch half, a 13-inch disadvantage? Again, Jose had a 72-and-a-half-inch reach. Regis had a 67-and-a-half-inch reach. I believe Regis is a better fighter, than a better boxer and fighter than uh, Jose Ramirez. You know, Regis has that whole little nick, hick and jerk, bob and bob and bob and weave. And if he can bob and weave and get inside of Josh Taylor, who I think is a better overall mover, fighter, punch. I think Josh Taylor is overall better than a hooker. If he can get inside and bang away at hooker, I believe he can knock, hook, uh, knock hooker out. If he can somehow do get inside like he did on Taylor. Move, move, slip some punches and get inside. Jab, up, jab himself in. Use his uh, height 
a disadvantage as an advantage. Stay low, jab up, work the body on the counters. I see Hooker. Now you could definitely make it easy to step back and jab and make it a boring ass fight and went on points. But I see Hooker moving too much, expanding too much energy to keep Regis out away from the bridge, crossing the bridge or out on the out at the end of the jab. I think Hooker's gonna expand too much energy moving and eventually Regis will um you know how you know how Regis turns sideways and he does his little bob and weave his shoulder bob. He he crouch himself in, and I think eventually he's gonna work that body, and uh, I think he's gonna knock out Hooker like in round nine. I think I got Maurice Hooker going down and with a knockout by Regis Progress. Regis Progress. <clears throat> I think I think he uh, eat some he eat some jabs, but I think he's more willing. To go through the fire to land his, then, and I think Maurice Hooker is going to be playing it safe, backpedaling, landing a good hard right here and there like he's known to do. But I just think the body attack, if Ramirez can do that to his him and break him down through the body, I think Regis, who I think is a better body attack, will do it. Now I'm saying that Ramirez is a Ramirez is damn good at the body attack as well. I, I just think Regis is better. And, and I'm not a big Regis fan. If you're if you've been watching the Double RT Boxing Show, it took me a long time to give Regis Progress his due. And I think he's gonna knock out Maurice Hooker right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, round nine.